What's up, YouTube? I figured uh, I would stop real quick and show everybody how to do these, uh, do the servo. So this is it, just straight out of the pack. So these things are have um, like 180 degree. I don't know what the the actual percentage of um, turning radius it actually has but I want it to go all the way around and around and around so it's got to stop in here we got to take out you can actually see it right there anyway um, there's a stop we got to take out and also we got to wire this this is on a three wire plug so I want to do it um, I want to do it like I want. So I'm going to cut the stickers. Don't be lazy with this because you'll just be fighting the stickers. Take all the bottom screws out. See how fast I can do this real quick. All right, all four out, pop the bottom off. Alright, so all we're wanting is these two wires on each post of the um, of the motor, the actual motor itself. These two posts right here of the actual motor, that's all we want. So always grab this wire, pull this um, circuit board out. You see that I pulled all the gears and everything out of this upper case by accident. They're all still lined up, so they're good, but just be careful with that. Just hold uh, the sides, grip the sides up here. So we're going to pull this out. Ended up pulling the wires off, but I still got the circuit board up where I can grab it now. Unless you're going to put it on a RC or a controller or something. You don't have to worry about any of this. So I take... Uh, I'm pulling a circuit board out, but I take these wires before you break them off of the, the motor and go ahead and get those off the circuit board. Okay. Now you got your two wires from your motor hanging out. Now this thing, it's hard to see down in there, but there's prongs back in there that solder to this circuit board, so you're going to have to work it out. Doesn't matter. Alright, circuit board's out. Garbage. So this is really what we're trying to get to up in here. So 
looks like this one. Yeah, this one's going to be difficult and try to. Actually, we're good. So this is usually the. Um, I think it's called the potentiometer. It, it measures what position the servo's in. This little black thing up in here. Sometimes um, this thing has a stop on it, but I don't know. I don't know about this one. I've never used this type of servo before, but this is what we're trying to get to right here. I know it's hard to see white, but these little that little knob right there. So go ahead and pull this top gear off. You don't have to, but I like to hold these other ones down, or they're gonna come out. Pull that top gear off. And just slice it. You see, see what I'm talking about. Should be good. Put it back on. So we'll try it real quick just to make sure everything's good before you put it back together. Now you got to do this anyway. You got to trim the wires so you can put your longer ones on it anyway. And while we're talking about wires, I always use these. So this one's got yellow, red, brown. Just pick which ones you like. Yeah, I'll go with red and brown on this one. Strip the other one off. Put this uh, clip that connector off. It doesn't. Don't need it anymore. So just keep the yellow and brown together. Strip the the extra yellow one off, and now you're good. All right, so let's try it out. We have to throw the case back on it real quick. So continuous rotation both ways. Alright. So I hope that helped. See you on the next one.